Good morning, T-Birds. I'm Race. And I'm Tu. Today is Thursday, February 22nd, 2024, and you're watching Mount Tahoma TV. Today's Black History Spotlight, we honor Serena Williams, the greatest tennis player and one of the dom most dominant athletes of all time. She was a trailblazer in the world sports, and she shattered records and inspired millions around the globe. On top of her achievements in tennis, she's an advocate for gender and racial equality, using her platform to empower others and to promote positive change. Attention seniors, yearbook is accepting senior portraits, baby pictures, quotes, and senior page requests. Links to submit these are in the YouTube descriptions, or you can pause the, this video and scan these QR codes. They are due at the end of February, which is only six days away. Congratulations to our Deaf Academic Bowl team, composed of Mattia Baldago Gaines, Ainsley Fitzgerald, River Gonzalez, and Tremez Jefferson. They represented our school with pride. After a tiring uh, tournament in Santa Fe against the top 16 teams in the West, our Deaf Academic team placed fifth, play, uh, placed fifth overall in the tournament, just barely missing out on the top four finish and a trip to nationals. Please congratulate them for their hard work. So uh, yesterday was um, the, the Union Job Fair. So did you go to it? Rachel? Yeah, I went to it. I talked to a lot of firefighters. They were telling me some crazy stories. I was, I was baffled. But well, um, our, our Mount Tahoma TV reporters, Stephanie and uh, Andrea, went to Union Fair. Let's check it out. Uh, we're out hosting a union job fair where, we're, where you've invited unions and good paying jobs um, from around the county um, to chat with y'all about like what they do, um, what what's unions all about, and how potentially to get, get in their place of work, and also hand out some free swag. We're here with... Uh, Michael Whalen. My union, UFCW Local 367, uh, we represent workers here in Tacoma, ranging from uh, grocery workers to meat cutting workers to retail workers at Macy's. We're here with Gabby, and I'm here because I don't really have an idea of what I want to do after I graduate, and what's caught my eye is that I see a lot of women um, they're just talking about these jobs that are like very physical and hardworking. And I just think it's really cool. Like us women could do whatever we want to do. And so I just want to keep my eye open. So that's kind of just why I'm here. Okay, I'm here with Zoraida Valdivinos. So I'm with Clover Park Technical College. And a little bit about us, you guys, we have multiple programs that are hands-on two years and under, so less book work and more of actually doing the things with your hands. And yeah, it's important, you guys, even if you don't know what you want to do, keep in mind that this would be very low cost to you guys. We have a lot of scholarships specifically for Mount Tahoma students. Uh, students have the opportunity to earn $500 to help launch the GESA Student Credit Union at Mount Tahoma High School with Jobs 253 this spring. This spring, starting in March, uh, the launch crew will meet after school twice a week to learn tellers basics and plan the marketing materials for the launch. Once the branch opens after spring break, students will work shifts during lunch with, with them. With the representative, Today I'm here we'll with have the opportunity to apply to be the campus branch manager next year as a paid intern with them. To learn more about the opportunity, attend the program orientation on the 27th after school. Uh, and a financial aid night will be um, held on March 7th, uh, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. See Ms. Phillips in the Career Center for more information. It's Thursday, which means it's time for Ask an Anchor. Today's questions are... Um, read yours first. Uh, all right. So, uh, what's your? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it's <laughs> Sorry, so, what's your favorite uh, mutant uh, ninja turtle, and why? I'd say the red one because he's uh, he's super passionate about everything he does. He like, yeah. Yeah. What's passionate. his name? I don't I don't know his name, bro. All I'm right. Be honest. <laughs> well, my favorite is um, is Michelangelo. You know, he's pretty hype, and he's he hype. Just, yeah, he just go with the, the goofy flow, one out yeah. of all of them. Yes, Isn't he like the youngest? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bro, you got that. All right, good. Next one. Uh, so, from Caitlin, do you listen to K-pop, and what's your favorite song? Bro, I don't listen to K-pop. I don't know bro. any songs. Hey, kill this love by Blackpink. Oh my god. 
right, thanks for your questions, and make sure to submit your questions to our Ask and Anchor box under the stairs for a chance to have it answered on air next week. That's it for today's, wait, hold on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're going to end today with more Teacher T-Bird Way winners. Okay guys, I'm here with Miss Beers. <laughs> you are now one of my elite employees. Um, you just got one of these little white wristbands from the school. Um, it's the reason you got it is takes responsibility. She's always been super awesome with her students as well as being a great teacher. So here you go. Oh, thank you. Um, there she goes, guys. <laughs> Take a bow. <laughs> I'm here with Miss Rudolph. You have been promoted, girl. You have been promoted. Word way winners. Nice. One of these little things. Um, the reason is she is respectful. Wait, she's a respectful teacher. Respects others. So now oh, you get one of these. There we go. And you have been promoted! Yeah. Well, that's it for today's news. Thanks for watching. I'm Race. And I'm Sue. Subscribe to us on YouTube to never miss a story. Once, Once a T bird, bird, always a T bird. bird. Have, have a great day. day.